So we got a customer that came. We, so this is 2016 16. comments. No, it's a D13. It's a D oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. it's a D13. Um, short of half a million, right? It's like four. Yeah. 80? What, what's the mileage on it? Oh, 503. So it's a half a mil. Half a million miles, and we got a lot of codes for. Um, the the main ones are knock the, sensors. Yeah, so. inlet and uh, outlet knock sensors. Yeah. Uh, we have one for the heater uh, line as well for the DF coming from the pump going to the DF dozer. Yeah. So and also. So what are we thinking? We're trying to we're looking at our system, thinking um, it might be just the harness uh, itself. In a couple spots, it's going to be probably worn out. Yeah because we have too many uh, codes then we also have a related. oil thermostat circuit open and that's a completely different harness right there from the after treatment and engine side yeah and we also have the df valve as well the dozer so definitely yeah. we're gonna inspect that out so i would say let's start digging uh around the harness spent an hour to two hours just trying to see if there's see if we see any corrosion yeah. visibly or uh Remove all the plugs, inspect them, make sure no spread pins. And the reason we're we're usually doing that is because the, our last last uh, couple of fixes related to NOx were literally wire issues. Wire related, correct. And we found it. It took a few hours to find it, but we found it, fixed it, and we didn't have to spend Replace a lot of the money parts, on yeah. parts. And and they've been running so far for. Uh, months now yeah and no problem we don't see any problems so well let's dig into that um this way we can save the customer the money for the yeah. parts so it's a, so the main issue is uh inlet outlet properly knocks and properly diagnosing have saving him money uh can we actually not just uh, throwing parts at it yeah because we we do have the knock sensors in on order and in stock but we'll well before we put it on we're just going to start uh, looking for it so awesome um So we just found something. The compressor's loud. All right, so we found something here. You wanna explain what we found? Yeah, we got that D13 uh, with the SCR uh, It has knock sensor issues. Uh, we we'll pulled a cover on there, and I noticed all this uh, DF buildup. Previous cases we've had, uh, they like to build up on the inside right here, or on, between this uh, bellow, and that's gonna obviously have some blockage with for the df and the actual flow of the exhaust how's the dozer right here it doesn't look to be honest it looks like it was recently replaced uh replaced but I, i'm still curious on what's going on over there yeah i mean yeah, i was gonna ask you i mean that's pretty much the clamp is either failed or somebody didn't put it on right no but you would never you should never have any buildup like this yeah it is a lot it's it a lot is a lot yeah well, that could have uh, been a, uh, you know, building. Could have been it. something uh, from previously, and then after the dozer was, you know, replaced. You think they just didn't clean it? Somebody didn't clean. I mean, the if whole I would have seen this myself, a buildup like this, and they had a dozer issue, I would have definitely removed this. Yeah. Just to further. Inspect yeah, yeah. It. Which that's what that makes. Well, we'll take it apart and see what's going on. But it, it's, it's. Uh, well, let's start from that, and then we'll, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, we'll go from there. All right. Uh, so this is what we found so far and let me go turn on the radio Alexa Damn, she really listens really good I know yeah she listens to me Alexa listens to me all right so uh, what do you got what do yeah, you got all this build up right here that's crazy huh yeah definitely that's so, what uh, that's what we were assuming too that there's gonna be some yeah. build up right there so the build up was preventing the the flow uh, not only the exhaust blow, but also the DF when it sprayed. Yeah, it, it was just, just, it just there's kept, already buildup right there, so it just kept building up on top of it. Yeah. You don't think uh, there was actually a, a, a leak on the clamp itself? No, no, because I've seen this plenty of times, and also right here. Interesting. Um, this clamp right here, you can see the. This one obviously is failing too. That's why you got the streak right here. Yeah. Okay. Because what I would, what I would, th what I would assume is somebody fixed it uh took it off cleaned the build up again uh, um and then put it back on and then put it quite how it's or supposed the surface to be wasn't cleaned up properly or it wasn't cleaned properly and the, not that i mean it just added to the restriction because look i mean we took 
a lot. You took a lot of it up, uh, yeah. down. It was literally half half of it almost, yeah. right? Yep, easily. Yeah. So. Same with over here. We got we knocked some of it out already. Yeah. But if there was a crack, and in winter we just we're coming out of winter right now, all that buildup would literally create more. If it was crystallizing, the air was hitting it, it was just building up and, and, and expanding the gap on the on the clamp and just creating more and more buildup in the result. Yeah, like we mentioned, uh, the DF in the jug, it's not going to crystallize until it hits air. Yeah. Any uh, oxygen, that's when it starts yeah. to uh, yeah, crystallize. That's when it starts to crystallize, crystallize yeah. yeah even Especially with cold temperatures. The, yeah, you spill some on the floor, it yeah. starts crystallizing right yeah. away. Yeah. If, it, if it's not cleaned properly yeah, here, you have so much surface. build up here that literally like you know if you don't put it tight together it's just gonna, it's gonna leak you're doing the same thing okay so we're just gonna clean it put new, new gaskets new clamps, gaskets clamps those are should we i mean let's just run a region and see what it does but it could be it could be that, uh this one's leaking yeah. it's faulty yeah all right we'll all in the parts and get it fixed